There are five dimensions to human life. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual and social. When all these dimensions are balanced, that's when you achieve happiness. But when it is unbalanced is when you have problems. An active self-care program is expected to plug this gap. And today I will be sharing two tools which can help you achieve this. And if you stick till the very end, I'm in a mood to throw some freebies at you. So let's get started. Hey there, my name is Aparna. I'm your certified coach and every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're there, do not forget to press a bell icon so you're notified every Thursday when I post a new video. We are observing self-care all this month and today I want to share with you two tools that can help you in this journey. Now these tools will not just help you create your own self-care program but also help you achieve a balanced life. Shall we begin? The first tool I have for you is called the self-care wheel. It's a modified version of the life wheel that I've spoken to you some time ago. Here's how it works. On a blackboard or a whiteboard or a single piece of paper, you can take an A4 size paper, draw a circle and divide the circle into different pies like so. Then give each of these pies one area of your life where you feel self-care is important. For example, you can say physical, mental, emotional, social, spiritual, professional, personal, it's up to you. You pick areas that you feel is important to you. Now you highlight your self-care activities you wish to do in each of these areas. For example, in physical, you may want to say, reduce pain or prevent diseases. What are the self-care activities that you think are going to help you achieve that? Some ideas are say, have seven plus hours of sleep or take afternoon naps or include a bowl of raw veggies into your diet or take vitamins as supplements. You identify what you wish to do and highlight them in these areas. In mental areas, for example, you may want to calm your mind or reduce negative thoughts. So what are the activities that you think can fit in here? Reading, writing, playing a game with somebody or playing Sudoku, doing some puzzle, whatever that interests you, put it down over here. Similarly, you highlight what you need to do in each of these areas. Obviously, the activities that you need to do have to be thought through and this is not a final and binding list. You can always change them if you feel like that is not working out for you. The important part is that you highlight only those activities that you wish to do and stick it up where you can see it frequently. Now from these you pick up one or two activities that you want to begin doing first. You may highlight them like I do with a different color marker. Once done, your sheet will look something like this. Now we come to the second tool which is called as a self-care tracker. You start noting down all those activities that you wish to do and start tracking them as per the days of the activity or days of the month. How you're going to use this tracker is entirely up to you. You can track your habits down here or you can put up your self-care activities that you have highlighted over here. And every single day when you do that activity, you're going to tick yourself or color code that particular area so that you can track how your performance has been over a period of time. For example, I chose to read a book and I wanted to read a book because I thought it is going to calm my mind, but that's not happening. I'm unable to give it enough time from my schedule to do that activity. So I see that I'm not being consistent about it, which means that particular activity is not serving its intended purpose. Through this tracker, I can understand what is going wrong and what can I do if that particular activity is something that I'm absolutely not able to give time. Maybe I can choose a different activity which is something that I really love and enjoy doing. Looking at things from a big picture perspective, make sure that you make the actual changes that you need to make. You keep tracking your progress to ensure that you do it consistently and then practicing it again and again and again until it becomes a habit. That is exactly how these tools will help you. They help you create and manage a personalized, 
preventative and a sustainable self-care plan. Now for the freebies, I'm giving away free downloadable printable templates of the self-care wheel as well as the tracker. If you want to download it, you head to my website that is fiveandspringlv.com forward slash self-care 101. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, click to download it. The link is also available in the description below in case if you haven't noted that down. I'm hoping you'll be able to download these tools and also use them to create your own self-care plan. And I would love to hear from you. What do you think about them? And what do you think about this video? Do leave it in the comment section below and or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. As I say it every single week, if you like this video and find this video resourceful, give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. Subscribe and also hit a bell icon so you are notified every week when I post a new video. I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Self-care rocks baby. Bye.